All right, guys, what's up y'all doing today? So I got great news. I got excellent news, actually, to give you guys. And um, guess what? I get to stay in Colombia. I got my visa approved, finally, finally. And it was the, the visa that I had, the business visa. So let me tell you all a little bit of story how it went. But first, before I start, I'll let y'all know where I'm at. Right now, I'm, I'm in El Estadio. This is where all the, uh, the sports facilities are. Behind me is the actual stadium. Well, behind that billboard is the actual stadium where they play the soccer games, that kind of stuff. And I'm actually gonna go and check out a few group classes, see if they have some kickboxing and boxing groups I can join. We'll see. And that's a good thing to do. Here's a tip. For anybody moving to Colombia, join groups. Join, follow your hobby, join groups, you make friends. It's a great way to adapt to the culture. But let me get to the point of this video. Oh wow, a beautiful dog. Huh. Anyways, <laughs> let me get a point to the video. I got approved for my visa and I got it for three years. I don't know if you guys have seen my other videos where I've been, I've been complaining about my visa and how they, they, how they didn't renew it. Actually, no, they didn't even renew it. The lawyer that I was using for the past whatever amount of years I was here in Colombia, she told me not even to try to get my visa because I didn't qualify or whatever reason. She said, don't even try. So I didn't try and I lost that visa. I had that visa for four years. In order to get residency or apply for residency here in Colombia, you need to be, have a visa for five years. I had it for four years. She told me don't even try. I let it go. I lost it. And those four years are down the drain and down the toilet. Now I got approved for a new visa, but guess what? I have to start all over again from scratch, from zero. I'm in year one now. And I got, thankfully I got approved for three years. Because they could have approved me for one year. But it kind of it kind of makes me upset that I have to start from zero again. And in, th in three years from now, I got to try to renew again. And who knows if we're going to change the rules, the laws. Colombia is always changing the requirements for visas, man. So hopefully on the third year, I can renew again for another three years. And on the fifth year, go for my, my residency. That's my hope. But no, it, it worked out. Uh, like I told you all before in my other videos, I don't really recommend lawyers, especially on video like this YouTube, because the original lawyer that I had, she did a good job for the first two or three times I used her. You know, I used her to get my visa. I helped, I helped, she helped me out with my U.S. passport to renew it. She actually sent it to the U.S. Embassy here in Colombia. Did everything great. This last time she kind of just, it didn't work out, but that was like three years later, right? I think her problem was she changed the administration in her office and that kind of stuff and just the, the quality went down. I got a new lawyer. She got me approved within a week. Actually, I gave her all the paperwork, all the documents. I had a business visa, I ran my business legit. I had everything on file, all the taxes I paid, everything, everything was to the T because my accountant is actually my friend and he's very good, he's very good. So he had everything to the T. So when she asked me for all the documents, I said, sweet. I called up my, my accountant, I said, I need this, this and that. He sent over to me in an email with all the attachments attached. I sent over to uh, the lawyer, she got it going. I think she has some kind of connection. I'm not sure what she has. She got it going, and within a week, I got my visa approved, three years. I think this Monday, I'm gonna go pick up my Colombian ID at the, the immigration, so super happy about that. And now I get to stay in Colombia. Now, look, there's lately, there's been a lot of like negative commenters on my channel, making all kinds of really dumb comments. I don't mind criti uh, critique or, or positive criticism, whatever it's called, I can take it. And I don't really mind the negative stuff or the really stupid stuff. I can take it too. I'm just, it doesn't bother me. But I've noticed that every time I talked about like I had to leave the country or because of this visa situation, I had to go to Brazil or go to Mexico. There's been a few people coming. Oh yeah, you're never, you're, there's reasons why they're not, they're not approving your visa. Uh, there's someone out for you, immigration. Oh, I, I can't wait till you get kicked out of the country, David. It's not really dumb people. All this negative energy. And guess what to those people? You can kiss my behind because I got my visa approved. <laughs> and I'm here for three years, so there you go, in your face. But anyways, just shows you guys that just don't give up. Actually, no, I'm not, I'm not even gonna lie. I was looking, because I had I had my tourist visa until September. So I was actually looking into which country I was gonna go to next. I was actually planning everything. And one of my buddies, he has had the same visa as me, a business visa. And he was coming up for renewal and I sent him a message saying, hey man, how, how did it go? Did you get your visa renewed? Thinking that he was gonna tell me no, it got denied because he didn't have employees either. 
and said no i got it i got it approved three years and he was like well shoot man i was, I was like man dang what'd you do hook me up so he told me he hooked me up with the the person he's using and i then she helped me out too so that's, that was great my other friends i had a whole bunch of names um but they had a business here and they got denied too and they had to leave the country so it's just all up in the air depends who you get what immigration officers helping out with your case i'm not sure i don't know i have no idea how this works here i'm just super happy that it worked and i'm here and now that i'm here in columbia for three more years i want to get more established i, I kind of the last the last video i made about my apartment hunt that probably kind of confused a lot of people because a lot of people probably thought wait a second why is david looking for an apartment if he has to leave like in two months because on tourist visa i made that video before i made this video i apologize if i confused anybody out there but that was it i was looking for an apartment because i got my three years now i'm looking for an apartment again i already booked another month in airbnb because finding an apartment is difficult here someone contacted me one of you guys sent me an email saying that her mother has an apartment i want to see it it's super nice but i might lose it because i already get pay for another full month until november on airbnb to get the discount big mistake on my part but whatever you live and learn and hopefully as time goes on i'll find my my, my dream apartment if i stay in airbnb whatever it's fine and hopefully i'm gonna try and get involved in groups more i want to try and make more videos for you guys and uh We'll see what the future holds for this channel. So if you guys have any questions, thank you all for sticking with me. Thank you for having with, uh, going with me to other countries, but I'm most likely gonna stay, I'm gonna, definitely gonna stay here in Columbia for definitely for three years. Let me know if you guys want me to do marathon trips to other countries. I was, I've been thinking, I was thinking, now that I don't need to travel cause out of force and like go to those other countries cause I have to, I might take trips out there and just do like a, a marathon video or, or just a few videos of what i thought about like for example ecuador or or bolivia or argentina like i go there i go check it out I, and I let you guys know what i think compared to colombia let me know if you guys want that and a last tip before you go last tip last tip i make videos all the time talking about not to wear shorts in medellin but guess what i'm wearing shorts i'm wearing shorts and why and there's a hack behind it i'm wearing gym shorts and gym shirt so Colombians do wear shorts out, like this dude right here walking. He's wearing shorts, but it's gym shorts. Because they're going to the gym, they're going to work out, they're doing sports. I wear shorts because again, also I go to the gym, I work out, I do sports. But when I want to wear shorts, I just want to go to the grocery store and I want to put on jeans because it's hot outside, I put on my gym clothes. And it looks like I'm coming to the gym or going to the gym, but I'm making a stop at the grocery store. There's a tip for you guys. Anyways, like, subscribe, share the video, all that kind of stuff. And I'll see you on the next video, yeah? Ciao, ciao. Bye-bye.